work. The Intel problem is it's being squeezed by NVIDIA for artificial intelligence. It's also being, uh, uh, it, 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 they have their own artificial intelligence platform. And AMD's got better chips right now in terms of speed and graphical user interface. Graphical user interface is used for crypto mining. That's, uh, crypto mining obviously is, uh, you're talking about Ether and you're talking about Bitcoin. Uh, it's used for gaming. So AMD's got sex appeal. Now remember, Intel bought Mobileye. O mobilized very smart company, uh, not a lot of people, but paid a lot of money. That's an autonomous car play. These are, uh, Intel's being buffeted. Uh, there are times when Intel's been buffeted before. I want to see what Brian Krasanich comes back with. I do not think that you should write off Intel. I do think that AMD has more pizzazz. I think Nvidia has more pizzazz. I've been trying to get people to understand pizzazz uh, can be a uh, two-edged sword. Um, Nvidia can go down, not just up. And that's when you buy it, not when it's running. And you're getting so much attention from your dog, who's now Everest NVIDIA. Well, you know, look, I just, I use that as an analogy to be able to say, let's not get silly. Like AMD, for instance, is up 30% very quickly. Now, what I point out is that AMD was down 30% very quickly. And I just don't want people to get hurt. Now, people on Twitter naturally think, therefore, I'm shorting these stocks I can't short, or I'm in league with the shorts. You know, what nonsense. I think AMD is going to go up over time well. I think NVIDIA is a very big stock. I have compared it to Intel in the 90s. So give me a break. I am just saying that you buy these things when the market gives you sell-off, you don't chase them. That's all I'm saying. When the market gives you sell-off, you don't chase them. If you were to buy some NVIDIA now, leave room for more NVIDIA later. That's how we do it in Action Alerts. That's what I would suggest.